Hey guys, welcome back. I came out here to the shop because I forgot to put a little pin, a little glued in, right here to stop this on the baby gate. That's all I came out here for. That's all I was going to do. And then I walked out the door. And I saw this. It's a wreck. The entire garage is a wreck. There's dust, there's wood, there's junk, there's trash. Everywhere. So I, I can't just do this pin. I have to be a man and clean up first. I think first I'm going to move these. These don't go here. That doesn't go there. Every single time I do something, literally, there's not any project I don't use it for. Probably do it with some new quench water. If you watched the shop build video, you saw all these tools out there, and this is the dump from when I took them back. Well, Craftsman, they both look pretty good. And this one probably actually has better drive, this one has a slip clutch, so it stops way too early. That's a collector's item right there. Beaver craft, huh? Uh, carving knife. That's a good knife too. Carved a lot of wood with that thing. A lot of spoons. Another one. Wow. That is just glorious. And it's just for this little janky spoon knife. Ow. Robots I've gotten in there. There's piles of them. Ah. <laughs> Dustin, if you've watched any of my knife videos, you see me at all. You probably know that I have two vices. And you might wonder why. You might not. You probably don't. Got this one for, I think, five bucks. And this one was free. That's why we have two. Or after. Yes, the Shaspik is a very beautiful tool, but it is a space saving tool. That is what it's made for. It's made so you can have this headstock, and you can make it turn to a lathe, you can turn to a bandsaw, a table saw, pretty much anything you want. If you don't need space saving, it kind of stinks because you've got this headstock, and I have it in the lathe position. I've had it in the lathe position for a couple months now. Say I wanted the bandsaw over there, I have to take all this junk off, put it somewhere, and then put the bandsaw on and set it up. I don't want to do that. And what if I want a table saw, then I'm going to put this big giant table saw table on there and get the blade set up and everything like that. I don't even want to do that either. Because I have a table saw right there. I have a bandsaw in the basement. So I use this for a lathe and it stays that way. And I have shop tool duplicates for everything else. It's a really good lathe, but that's all I use it for. So it's a very expensive lathe. 
messy, messy, messy. This is our broken chainsaw collection. Got this broken chainsaw, got this broken chainsaw, this broken chainsaw. Okay, that's a lot better. Well, now that as far as, as it is in my power, everything is right with the world, I can put this pin in that I wanted to. Put a little glue on it, I was popping in. And we cut it. Quite nice. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment on it, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.